I'm so sorry about my behavior when you came to speak with me last year. I wasn't quite myself, though I'm sure that was fairly obvious at the time. <laughs> Honey, can you just open the door? No, I can't. I can't. I'm so sorry about this. She's not well, and with all of this... Y yeah I understand. Maybe I should come back another time? <laughs> Mary, please. From our previous correspondence, I know you were familiar with some of what I'd experienced. But rather than run the risk of leaving any gaps in the story, I thought I'd best lay everything out from the beginning. Back in the 90s, I was the systems operator for the Chicago Bulletin Board System, the precursor for the internet message boards. That was where I saw it. Hey, Miss Newlywed, come here for a second. Terry and I have been married for five months already, Janice. I'm not a newlywed anymore. Yeah, whatever. Just come take a look at this. A hyperlink. How very thrilling. It's not that. Check out the comment thread. Picture on the other side of the link gave me an epileptic seizure. Seriously? It's more than one person saying it too. Subject. Smile. God loves you. Looks like spam to me. Spam? Junk. Just an attachment from an email chain letter. You heard what Spaff said about Usenet, right? Like a herd of performing elephants with diarrhea, wasn't it? Massive, difficult to redirect, awe-inspiring, entertaining, and a source of mind-boggling amounts of excrement when you least expect it. So you're saying this is... elephant duty? It's oh-so-much dung. That seems harsh. Okay, so maybe one person who does have epilepsy did happen to have a seizure at the moment they clicked the link. But it's not like a picture could have caused the seizure. It could have been caused by something like their monitor flicker rate, though. That can happen? Of course. And the rest of these responses are just hysterical copycats. That's my knee-jerk guess, anyway. Haven't been able to sleep since I saw this. All this about nightmares. Let's take a look at what's on the other side of this hyperlink rainbow. Ew, that's awful! It's just uncanny. Dog face, human teeth, they just don't go together and your brain knows it. I can see how people are having reoccurring nightmares because of this. You don't think it's... you know... real? I don't know, maybe. You think? I think someone probably gave a husky pup grandpa's teeth and took a picture for a few laughs. It's even called smile.doc. That isn't even a valid file extension. It has to be a prank of some kind. But the hand in the background, is it beckoning? It's just a hand, Janice. If it was beckoning, it'd be at a different angle. You can't even see the rest of this person. Freaky. Uncanny. There's a difference. What should we do? Clearly, it isn't the seizure-inducing panic piece all these commenters are making it out to be, but I don't want them to keep making a stink. Who even posted it? Anonymous user. Delete the whole thread. There's a full moon coming up, and I don't want any more of these yahoos coming out of the woodwork. Consider it done. Man, I'm beat. I know how you feel. How was today only Tuesday? Three more days, hon, and then it's a weekend in the Poconos. It can't come soon enough. I love you, sweetie. Love you too. only it. Spread the word. <coughs> Spread the word, Mary. <coughs> of course I know who you are. I know all my children, and I'll leave you alone if only you do as I ask. Spread the word. That first night, that was the only thing it said. 
kept saying over and over. Maybe it thought it could wear me down, but I guess I didn't break as easily as it was expecting. Morning, Janice. Hey. Everything okay? Yeah. Well, no, come to think of it. I had a pretty bad nightmare last night. Me too. Must be something in the water, right? I'm pretty sure I know where my nightmare came from, and it wasn't the water. That picture. The one from the message board yesterday, right? You too? I told you. It's uncanny. Honestly, I'm not surprised. And that makes one of us. Nightmares are just your mind's way of coping with a weird thing. It has to reprocess it a bunch of times for a strange image to make sense. Don't suppose there's a way of stopping that from happening? Like taking something out of your brain? Not unless someone comes back in time from the USS Enterprise to make it so. I'm not kidding, Mary. Jeez, I'm sorry. I just... <sighs> Look, I didn't mean to take your head off. But clearly I didn't articulate exactly how bad this nightmare was. It was like I was paralyzed. I couldn't move or speak. I couldn't even blink. And it just kept saying the same thing over and over. Spread the word. Oh, sorry to hear it. Yeah, well... I suppose I didn't tell Janice about my nightmare because that's what I wanted it to stay. Just a bad dream with no power over me. If I'd admitted to her that I'd had the same dream, it would have become something more. Don't you want to know what it was? Nah, I didn't need to ask. I already knew what it was, or rather, what it wasn't. It may have looked like a dog, but that wasn't what it really was. Awful close to bedtime for coffee. I'm considering becoming one of those people who drinks coffee all the time. It's a lifestyle thing. Yeah, but I hear those people don't get to snuggle with their spouses as much because they're awake all the time. Sounds good to me. Seriously? Oh, Terry, no, sweetie, that's not what I meant. I just, it was a hard day at work. I haven't fully decompressed yet. You've been decompressing for hours. Well, I guess I'm not sleepy then, and I don't want to keep you awake with my tossing and turning. Sure you're not sick of me already, taking up coffee instead of your loving husband? Off to sleep, you, before I smack you with a pillow. Fine, fine. Just give me a holler if you need anything. Will do, sweetie. Terry loved me so much. How could I tell him what was happening to me when I still thought it was just a byproduct of seeing the photograph? Another night's sleep. A proper one. That was what I needed. I didn't have to be able to speak to know what it wanted. It wanted me to show it to someone else. I'll let you sleep if you spread the word. Despite my terror, I couldn't help myself from wondering why. Why did it want me to show it to others? What could it stand to gain? At any rate, Janice and I had deleted the post, so the horrifying image was lost forever. Or so I thought. That sounds like the sigh of a tired woman. Rough day. Quiet. Janice was out sick. Oh, that sucks. I'm guessing the coffee last night didn't contribute to a sound night's sleep. Not so much. Oh, before I forget, something came in the mail for you. The package on the table. From the very moment I touched it, I knew what it was. Three and a half inch floppy disks were past their prime even in those days, but the shape was unmistakable. Mary? Hmm? Mary, I was asking what is it? Just something that should have been sent to work. It can wait. You got all that from an envelope with no return address? It's from a colleague of mine in Terre Haute. He emailed me about it ahead of time. Colleague, huh? Anything I should be jealous about? You don't get jealous, Terry. I know. It's one of the things you love most about me, isn't it? I love everything about you, sweetheart. That was the first time I wasn't surprised when I fell asleep. 
I thought I knew what to expect. Some animal part of me had known that all along. But whatever I had been expecting, it wasn't that. Janice never came back to work. I went in one day and her things were gone. There were rumors, of course. But the fact that her elderly neighbor passed away not long after she left town was passed off as a mere coincidence. For a long time, I thought about what to do. If I showed the picture to someone, maybe it was telling the truth. Maybe it would let me sleep again. But if it was lying to me, what would I have helped unleash? And Terry... How could I tell him what was happening to me? He loved me too much. If I'd admitted it all, come clean, he would have looked at the picture in a heartbeat just to spare me. I couldn't do that to him. Better he thinks something, anything else. By the time you tracked me down, Dylan, I was almost at my breaking point. I decided to give you the disc. Let you see the picture for yourself as part of your research. I wanted things to go back to the way they were before I saw Smile.Dog. I wanted my life back. So let me tell you a little bit about the article I'm writing. How old are you? 17? 18? 16, actually. I skipped a grade. Now, about the article. Mary, honey. I didn't care whether or not the creature was lying. I just wanted it to end. And I was willing to ruin your life just to save mine. I hope you can forgive me. I destroyed the disc last week. I couldn't bear the idea of Terry finding it, not after how I've kept him safe from it for so many years. The sound it made. I've destroyed discs before, burned them even. But this hissed like it was alive somehow. Like it was angry at me. I know how that sounds, but you have to believe me. I beg you, please give up your research into the image and its origins. I can only find the inaccurate copies of the picture online, and the other posters from the original message thread are all gone or vanished now. But somehow I don't think that's the end of it. And if you look long enough, hard enough, you're bound to find someone who's weak or depraved enough to follow the Smile Dog's orders. Please, please stop while you still can. I guess that's it then. The last sad chapter of a confusing story. Her obituary was posted online this morning, but it raised more questions for me than it could answer. Was Mary, as her husband believed, simply sick? Or was there something more? Something... Hi there, Dylan236. <laughs> I just found your posting about the Smile Dog picture on the archived BBS website, and I've actually seen it. It's nowhere near as bad as all the rumors say. I've attached the file for your viewing convenience. Just trying to spread the word. A friend. <laughs> 